Guitar Heroes, Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage here, and today I'm going to show you intervals in a nutshell. So we're going to try to condense this. I've seen videos that are 20 minutes long on this. It really doesn't need to be that painstaking and long. So let's do this. It's really super simple, okay? First, it's very helpful if you know the major scale. If you don't, I'm going to show it to you here. In the fourth position, meaning our first fingers behind the fourth fret, I want you to play fingers two and four on the sixth string. On the fifth string, I want you to play one, two, four. And on the fourth string, one, three, four. That's the major scale. I'll play it all together for you here. It's good to have a nice understanding of the major scale. So know the intervals, and I teach that in my free course and a bunch of other places, but for future reference, that would be a good thing for you to know the intervals, whole step, whole step, half, whole, 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 half. But for right now, this is all we need is this little form. Okay, now here it's very, very simple. If you can count one through seven, you can know all about intervals. Watch this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then back to the octave. Oct, like octopus, eight, or an octagon, eight sides, right? You've got eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's why we call the eighth note the octave. And the first note is uni, like unicorn, like one, one horn, right? So unison, okay? Uni note, if you will. So the one and the eight bookend everything else in the major scale. And the four and the five are perfect, okay? Just remember that. The four and the five are perfect. Everything else is major. So watch this, okay? Four and five are perfect. That's the only thing you need to really remember. Watch. So we got our unison or our one. The two is major. We'll talk about minors in a minute. The three is a major three. Remember you said the four and the five are perfect. So perfect four, perfect five. The six is major. The seven's major. And back to our octave, right? So just think about the unison, unicorn, right? One note. And the octave, oct for octopus, or eight, eighth note. Just think of those as bookends. And in the middle, we've got four and five. Those guys are perfect. Perfect four, perfect five. And all the other notes are, are major, okay? So we have unison, a major two, major three. Remember, perfect fourth and perfect fifth. Perfect four, perfect fifth. A major sixth, a major seventh, and back to our our one again, or also known as the octave. Okay, now what about the notes in between there, Eric? I'm glad you asked. Check this out. So if this is our unison note, right? If this is our major two, then this note in between it might be a what? It's a minor two. Good guessing, okay? So here's our one, here's our two, major two, here's our three. So this note right behind it is probably a what? You guessed it, a minor three, okay? Now things are different when we're talking about the perfect interval. So we go one, two, three, four, there's our perfect four, and our perfect five, okay? So the note that's in between it, there's a lot of different names for it. I'm just gonna tell you what they are. The sharp four, the flat five, the tritone, the augmented fourth, the diminished fifth, there's lots of different names for it, but nonetheless, you can use any of those in a musician talk, we'll know what you're talking about. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, here's six, remember we said that the other intervals were major, right? So here's our major six, so a half step below that would be a minor six. It's literally this easy, my friends, right? Now, let's go to the seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's a major seven, right? So a half step below that is what? A minor seven. My friends, you know the intervals. That's literally the whole nine yards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Okay? Friends, I've got more information on this for you inside my free program. I'd love to help you out there. So, my friends, that is intervals in a nutshell. I told you that it doesn't take that long. It's super easy to know. And if you're into understanding intervals, which is going to help you in music theory and all sorts, you know what you need to know now. If you need more help, I've got a free program for you, yourguitarsage.com slash 30. The link for that's in the description of this video. My friends, I'm obsessed with guitar and teaching people how to play. I've got a thousand something videos for free on YouTube. I've got 
a step-by-step -step program that will absolutely show you more than you've ever thought about knowing on guitar for free at yourguitarsage.com slash 30. I'm not joking. It's free. There's no credit card or no nothing. It's free. Go get it. And I have a lot of other videos at the Unstoppable Guitar System. If you'd like to join that or check that out, go to yourguitarsage.com slash one. You can check out the whole enchilada there for one dollar. 30 days access for to nearly a thousand videos and 600 jam tracks. I want to help you play guitar, my friends. Please let me know how I can do that. Friends, as always, be kind to all beings, do the right thing always, and practice your guitar. I'll see you in the next video.